What are the different roles in the church? Stick around to find out the answer. My name is Zeke Matthew, and Animated Christians is for you who like original movies and series, as well as clean anime and manga reviews. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you have not watched the rest of the series, then click on the video card above before you watch this one. Then come back here once you're done. Now I'm not saying all churches are like this or all pastors are like this. I'm just trying to get rid of the mindset that we created the church to be. In the seven things we learn about the church, we learn that there are ministries in the church where you volunteer for or join. But are these biblically sound? Let's find out. Our first scripture is 1 Corinthians 12 verse 28. God has appointed gifts in the assembly, first missionaries, second prophets, third teachers, then miracle workers, healers, helpers, administrators, and then those who speak with various unknown languages. So let's break this down a little further and let me know which role you fit in best down in the comments below. Our first one is a missionaries or apostle in other translation. And the basic definition of an missionary is someone sent on a mission to represent the interests of someone else. These were probably people like you and me that got sent on these missions. These however were not big church mission groups, though good intention, this is not what the scripture is talking about. Ask yourself this, how did God send Paul on so many missions? He wasn't a missionary going to places where God led him to. Our next role is a prophet. But what is a prophet? Definition of a prophet is a person who speaks for God or a deity or by divine inspiration. In other words, prophets were probably people who got words of knowledge or wisdom from God for the church. The prophecy from prophets might be for an individual, it might be for a crowd, it might be something in the future, because prophecy can mean different things. But one thing we should not confuse it with is always predicting the future. To give myself as an example, sometimes the Lord will give me a message to a person to deliver on that day. It happens rarely, but sometimes there's no message to be given on that particular day. But then other times the Lord leads me to give a message on that day. Let's move on to our third one which is teachers. So what are teachers? Well a definition of a teacher is show or explain to someone how to do something. A teacher is maybe more mature in the faith who teaches from the Bible, but can interact with the congregation by having them ask questions on what they have learned and how it applies. Teaching is the act of sharing with one another on what you have learned and areas you might be wrong in, therefore we sharpen one another. Also, this is not the same as a pastor, so if you're interested in what my take on the role of a pastor in the church is, click on the video card above where I go more in depth about that. Remember, teaching and preaching are not the same things. Our fourth thing is miracle workers. So a miracle worker would be a pastor or caregiver in the church, sort of like the doctors of our time caring for each one within the church. Our next one is the gift of healing. And these people who have the gift of healing, it can fall upon miracle workers. But these people have a special gift that allows them to heal people when God appoints them to do so, like the laying of hands in the church. The next one would be administrators, and these are people who may be more mature in the faith, and it's sort of like overseers in the church and guides people along the way when needed. The last one we have here is the gift of tongues, and this gift is sort of like yourself edifying back to God, and it's just you 
and God. You may not know what you are saying, but God does. Now that we know the different roles within the church, let's discuss why some churches don't believe in the gifts for today. It comes from this scripture, 1 Corinthians 13, 9 through 10. Gifts of knowledge and prophecy are partial at best, at least for now. But when the perfection and fullness of God's kingdom arrive, all the parts will end. Some churches believe that the gifts of the Spirit do not happen today and were left back in the day. But the question I have to ask is, if that were so, why did Paul go back to speak about the body of Christ with the gifts of the Spirit in 1 Corinthians 14? Our next scripture is Ephesians 4, 11 through 12. It was the risen one who handed down to us such gifted leaders, some missionaries, some prophets, some evangelists, as well as some pastor teachers, so that God's people would be thoroughly equipped to minister and build up the body of the Anointed One. Our next scripture is Romans 12, 6 through 8. Since our gifts vary depending on the grace poured out on each of us, it is important that we exercise the gifts we have been given. If prophecy is your gift, then speak as a prophet according to your proportion of faith. If service is your gift, then serve well. If teaching is your gift, then teach well. If you have been given a voice of encouragement, then use it often. If giving is your gift, then be generous. If leading, then be eager to get started. If sharing God's mercy, then be cheerful in sharing it. As you see, all the scriptures back up the spiritual gifts that are the roles we do in the church, and it is not one person who has all these gifts. I will leave you with one last scripture in the description below because it's too long for me to read and it is one scripture most churches ignore and one of the few places where Paul tells how a church should operate and it is in 1 Corinthians 14 and I highly recommend you read that. This concludes Season 1 of What's the Church and I want to thank you all for watching these videos in the series. I will be doing a second season down the road, but for now, I hope this gives you a basic understanding of what the church is. And Season 2 will go more in depth about other things within the church. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.